Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another video from Ling Ling. If you're wondering where I am right now, well, I'm gonna tell you, I am in a small hotel in Hong Kong and because it's a very bright room, I thought, why not make a nice video for you guys? Well, it's actually mostly because it's raining outside and I'm trying to make a video for you guys outside, but it's not gonna happen today. So I thought instead of just wasting my time walking around doing some What's that called? Window shopping. And then I thought, why not go to a convenience store here, pick up some weird snacks and go back and make a video. So that is what I've done. I have a few funny, weird snacks from the Hong Kong convenience store here. I feel like, I think half of it is Japanese because a lot of it is written in Japanese. But um, I thought it is bought in Hong Kong. So maybe the Hong Kong people like to eat Japanese snacks, I don't know. Anyways, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe for more videos below, and uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get started. <laughs> oh yeah, and I, I bought myself a little, um, what's it called, a little price. If I actually do finish all these snacks, then I can eat this blueberry cheesecake. It's not really a part of the video because I really like that, so. <laughs> But it's just to calm my stomach down. I feel like my stomach is already a little tense. Like, ah, what are you doing, girl? Like, my stomach never likes to try new things, and I always have a stomach ache. So, trying new things is like a big deal for me. But I'm learning. I want to try more. I want to become a better foodie. Let's get started. The first one. I don't know if you've heard about these before. The pokey. Things I didn't know about these before I came to China. I think they're Korean. I think it, it's all written in Korea. In Korea. In Korean. There we go. Yeah, so it's called Hai Thai Pokey Green Tea Sticks. I've had these with chocolate before. One of my Korean friends, surprise, she gave it to me. So I thought, why not try one with green tea? Because it seems like everything is with green tea here. Just like we have licorice and everything at home, they have green tea and everything. Okay. There we go. This is number one. Let's try. It tastes like green tea and a little bit of chocolate. The taste is not very aggressive, so I would say if somebody gave it to me and I had to eat it, I would eat it, but I wouldn't if I was just out looking for a snack, I wouldn't buy this one. Um, if I can eat. Uh -huh. I'm also not a big fan of green tea products, but um, anyways, I wanted to try. So we have number two, it's called Soy Joy. I actually saw these ones on Taobao before because I was looking for a snack with not that much sugar in it. And then these came up, came up. I see there is sugar in it, but it's also skim milk. Maybe it's low sugar. Anyway, it's not important right now. Let's try this is blueberry. So let's try here. Oh, weird consistency. Look here, guys. <laughs> wow, okay, let's try. Mm. Again, hi Kai. It's it's okay, but it's not amazing. If somebody told me that it was a really, really, really Jin Kang a healthy snack then I could eat it, but I needed water. I didn't bring water. Great. Awesome. Okay. Whatever. Oh, if I need something to drink, I should just take this one. <laughs> I picked this one up because it just looked too weird. It's basically fresh pear tea with sea coconut and chuan bay. I don't know what chuan bay is. If you know, please comment below. It looks so weird. Like, look at the color here. I would not want to drink that. So I thought, why not do it? <laughs> hmm, no smell really. <clears throat> it doesn't really taste that much. Again, I could drink it if I had to, if I knew that it was healthy. That's the thing for me, like if I know something is healthy, I'll eat it, drink it, even though I don't like it. And if it's unhealthy, I just won't. So usually when I'm traveling, I actually never buy snacks from the store. I always have my bananas everywhere I go um, because I just feel like there's so much sugar and everything or I don't know it so my stomach is gonna be uncomfortable if I eat it. So yeah, that's basically how I travel. I eat the meals from 7-Eleven and then I eat my bananas as a snack and then go back to 7-Eleven for the next meal and then banana. So that's what I'm trying to change. I've tried this time in Hong Kong. I'm really proud of myself because I actually bought breakfast on the street in China, then I walked across the border and now I'm here in Hong Kong for lunch. I did 7-Eleven, I'm sorry guys. <laughs> but then uh, between lunch and dinner, 
I did buy like a pineapple bun because I heard that that one is really popular here. I've had it before, it's really delicious. And then I had milk tea and then I actually went to a restaurant. My problem is I'm really bad at going to restaurants alone. I'm just like, I don't want to look like a loser. Or like in my country, you go out with friends. Um, but here everyone is like sitting alone anyway, so it's not a big deal. I just, I don't know why, it just makes me so uncomfortable. So this day, today, I was like, you have to go and buy something that's local Hong Kong food. And I did it and I'm so proud of myself. Anyways, <laughs> stop talking about Ling Ling, Ling Ling. Okay, next one here is called Jack a B. Like this one, I actually feel like I might be able to, I might like this one. It's seaweed were um, taste Jack a B. That's the only thing I can read on this thing. <laughs> that's the only thing is, I oh, hear English. Yeah, no, that's just an address produced in Hong Kong <laughs> okay well it's just like this and then like chips inside it looks like crisp that's good I think I could like this it's good it's good I would um I would eat that one again we got another one here peas wasabi and peas yeah I can eat wasabi but not as too much so I thought why not try to see if I can explode my own mouth <laughs> There we go. It's actually not that bad. I thought it would be like an explosion. Maybe it comes afterwards. I'm really bad with spicy, but wasabi has its own taste. I don't know. I don't even know how to say. No, these are good. These are not strong at all. I think the flavor would... Oh my god, it's not... I looked at the sign, it said wasabi, and now I just realized here that it says kasugai peas. I don't think there is any wasabi in this one. Oh my god, I'm fooling you guys, I'm sorry. Ling Ling, stupid. Anyways, <laughs> we got the last one here is mango papaya low fat milk drink. I thought, why not? <laughs> <laughs> um, again, in Denmark we don't really eat mango or papaya and we definitely do not put it in milk But I feel like here it's like milk has so many different flavors like well chocolate milk We do have that in Denmark, but like strawberry and uh, blueberry and all these funny berries and all these other kinds of things and mango apparently and papaya so we'll try and see if that is good because low-fat then I'm like yeah <laughs> Maybe that could be a snack. Ooh, it's a really strong, it has like a banana. Yeah, it's good. Oh, that's good. I'm a big sucker for mango, so when it says mango, I'm just like, yes. <laughs> wow, I'm proud of myself. I actually did try all of these things. And now I'm just gonna sit down and enjoy my blueberry. So thank you guys for watching this little video from Hong Kong. I hope the weather is gonna be better tomorrow so I can finish my filming for you guys. I love you so, 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 so much. Lots of love from Hong Kong. Check me out on social media. Help me translate my videos. If you have the time, that would be so, 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 so cool. And I hope you're having a great day, evening, wherever you're in the world. And I'll see you again very, very soon. Ling Ling Sa. See ya and Tai Chi.